today's video. In just a minute, I'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite perfumes. You know how they say if you give a girl the right pair of shoes, then she could take on the world? Well, my motto is if you give a girl the right perfume, then she could totally conquer the world because these perfumes that I'm about to show you just make me feel like a million bucks. I never feel like complete until I put on one of these five perfumes in the morning. These scents just make me feel like the best version of myself that I could be. And I know that sounds really weird, but I swear, scent is powerful, guys. But anyways, I don't want to make this intro too long, so without further ado, I'm just going to get right into this video and begin showing you guys my favorite perfumes, and I hope that you guys will enjoy watching. So starting off, with number five we have this gem right here this is ooh la la bonjour paris and actually this is technically a fine fragrance mist they don't consider this a perfume however i do anything that smells good that you spray onto yourself i consider a perfume okay and i don't know bath and body works might even have this scent in perfume formation um i don't know but regardless you can find this at bath and body works i paid $14.50 for it, and this scent, I'm going to spray it on myself. Okay, so this is a very light, girly, sweet scent. I'm going to see what it says on the back. Let's see. It doesn't really say anything on the back. Usually, they have like a little scent description somewhere on the bottle. However, this one doesn't. Um, to me, I'm going to tell you guys what I think it smells like. It smells a little bit like cotton candy and like strawberry macaroons. It just smells like very girly to me and very sweet. It's not like a super serious scent. It's nice and light and fun and fresh. So I really, really adore this one. And I'm really sad because I lost its cap. Like one morning I was getting ready in a rush and it fell somewhere. And I was like going crazy trying to find it for this video. But anyways, so that's number five and I highly recommend it. So guys, for number four, I have Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. And I actually bought this scent for the first time when I was 12. And I have been repurchasing it since then. This is a real perfume. Um, first of all, I love the bottle. I think it's just so enchanting looking and gorgeous. I love the little charms. And when I use this, I feel like a real life princess. I'm going to smell this and try to describe it for you guys. I'm sorry I don't have like the actual scent notes of any of these perfumes. Oh, okay. This one's so hard to describe because it kind of smells like hairspray, but not in a bad way. Like, that's the first thing I think of whenever I smell it. But this one is definitely more of, like, a deeper scent. I'd say this one is more appropriate for, like, fall and winter time. Well, this one is more for, like, spring and summer because it's lighter. Um, but this is, like, definitely a deeper scent, and it kind of smells like... It kind of smells like berries. It has this certain, like, musky scent to it. And it's just like so enchanting. I just love it. Like, I'm the worst at describing these. I just realized. Like, it's really easy for me to like review pocket bags and stuff like that. But perfumes are harder because there's so many different undertones. But that's the best way I could describe it. Just like a deep, enchanting, like fruity kind of scent with a splash of hairspray. Okay, that was that was horrible. But I love this so much. It's just the most enchanting scent in the whole entire world. So anyways, moving on to number three, we have Lovely Dreamer, and this is by Bath & Body Works. And I know for a fact they actually do have this scent in perfume form, but this is just the fragrance mist, and I know they smell exactly the same. The perfume is just like a tiny bit stronger and maybe longer lasting. But anyways, um, first of all, I love the packaging. I love the name. Just the overall look of this just reeled me in. So anyways, on the back, it does have some key notes that I'm going to read to you. So it says, fluffy musk, clean woods, white iris, and fresh bergamot. So those are like the key scent notes. But whenever I smell it, this is what I smell. <sighs> it smells fresh. It smells clean. It smells like new beginnings. It smells like motivation. Like, oh my gosh, that's just how it makes me feel personally when I put it on, I guess. Um, it's definitely like a very musky, but like kind of a lighter scent. It's not too strong, but it's not too light. It's like perfect. It's the perfect like in between. I highly recommend this. I believe it's still being sold at Bath and Body Works, so get it while you can. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, moving on to my second favorite perfume ever. This Whoa. 
Sorry guys, I tried to pick it up by the cap and it fell right off. It slipped right off. Anyway, this is called Juliet Has a Gun. I guess it's by the brand, not a perfume. I don't know if that's technically the brand or not, but there's like no other information on this bottle. So I'm just kind of assuming that. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on me. And can I just say, before I even get into the scent description, can I just say, whenever I put this on in the morning, it makes me feel like I can just like, conquer the world oh i don't know if it's like the name that makes me feel that way but it just makes me feel like i'm gonna go out and i'm gonna like conquer things oh wow how do i even describe this i feel like i need to look this one up to give you guys like the best description possible because like i can't even describe what it smells like it is composed of a single note called cetalox Cetalox. I have never even heard of that before. And it says, which is usually used in perfume as a base note. Okay. I feel like that description really did not help at all. <laughs> but the best way I could describe it is just like a deep, musky, girly, kick butt kind of scent where like if you would smell it on another person, you would be tempted to be like, hey, what perfume are you wearing? Like I want to buy that ASAP. It's just so good and I really, really recommend this to you guys. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite perfume of all, okay? And this is actually a legitimate perfume, it's not a fragrance mist. So here it is. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and Oh my gosh, I swear, this is the best thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. I love the packaging, it's so sleek, it's very pretty. I'm not actually gonna spray this because I'm very, like, stingy with this stuff. Like, if you come over to my house, I probably will not let you use any because this stuff is expensive and I like to kind of savor it. So anyway, okay, fine, I'm gonna spray a little bit. Like, life is short, whatever. Oh gosh. So this to me kind of smells a little bit citrusy and it also smells very clean and very musky and whenever I wear this it just makes me feel so put together and so ready for my day and I feel like this actually does last a while. It just makes you smell so fresh and like desirable. I don't know, I know that's so weird but I cannot say enough good things about this. 10 out of 10, highly, highly, highly recommend. Anyways, guys, those were my top five favorite perfumes. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. Definitely give it a like if you liked it. I would love it if you guys would leave a comment down below and let me know, have you ever tried out any of these perfumes that I mentioned in today's video? Let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Mwah.